Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey CHS, it's Miss Terry, and today is Wednesday of Red Ribbon Week, and we are going to talk about the importance of positive self-talk. You can do this by saying to yourself positive affirmations. What are positive affirmations, you may ask? In the dictionary, it states, a positive affirmation is a statement which affirms something to be true. This definition is still a little ambiguous, so to elaborate, basically, positive affirmations, what most people mean by them, are positive phrases which you repeat to yourself, which describe how you want to be. The theory, we believe it is much more than just a theory, is that when you are first saying your positive affirmations, they may not be true, but with repetition, they sink into your subconscious mind and you really start to believe them and eventually they become your reality. They become a self-fulfilling prophecy and actually become true. Over time, they overwrite any limiting or negative beliefs you may have about yourself or about not being able to do something and replace them with positive thoughts and beliefs, which instill confidence, belief, positivity, ambition, and much more. So you're probably all wondering, how can I start doing this? The easiest way is to get yourself a couple sticky notes. Write on them phrases using I statements. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am worth it and hang them around your house where you can see, whether it's on your refrigerator, on the mirror you look in before you start school, or anywhere where it's accessible that you can see it every day. By reading them and saying them out loud, it may sound funny at first, but you'll get used to them and you'll train yourself to say them regularly. Do this every day, and I challenge you, CHS, you will feel a little bit more positive each and every day. Hope this helps. I was working in the lab when my eyes be held. What's going on, CHS? Can you tell we're excited for Halloween? Well, let's get into some trivia. Today's question is, in the horror movie Scream, what star from the show Friends plays Gail Weathers? We'll have the answer for you later in the show. We want to remind everybody to please wear your masks properly. Especially with our November break coming up, we want to ensure a safe return to school. Think about others, not just yourself. Calling all dancers, the CHS Dance Ensemble will be having virtual auditions when we return from November break. There will be an audition information meeting tomorrow, Thursday, October 29th at 2.30 p.m. The Google Classroom code is on the screen. There's another new club starting here at CHS called the English Accuplacer Prep Club. The club will have meetings on Thursdays at 2 o'clock. The code is on the screen. CHS, are you interested in becoming the next generation of emerging leaders in the business world? Well, then I definitely have the club for you. The DECA Club, run by Mr. Orr. If you would like to join, simply use the code on the screen or email Mr. Orr at or, or at cliftonschools.net. The GLI Club focuses on human rights, awareness, and advocacy, especially education in unprivileged countries. They raise awareness and money for international and community social justice. Their meetings are on Thursday, and the Google Classroom code is on the screen. Are you interested in playing ice hockey this year? Then you need to attend the virtual mandatory meeting on October 29th at 6.30 p.m. The code is on the screen. If you are interested in joining the girls and boys bowling team, here are some things you must do before you can. You have to go on the Clifton High School website to get your physical form. Then you have to take it to their, your doctor, have them fill out their part, and then your parents will do the rest. And you must complete the physical and hand it in until November 20th into the main office. You must also register for the bowling team on the athletics website beginning on October 26th. If there are any questions, please see the athletic director on the upper gym floor. Practice will start around December 3rd. Games will start on December 21st. You cannot start bowling until you fill out these forms. Join the bowling team and have some fun. SATs are on November 7th. 
Doors open at 7.15. Remember to wear a mask, bring your own number two pencil, calculator, registration form, and a form of ID that can be a school ID, passport, license, and also bring a bottle of water. Most importantly, social distance upon entering the building. If you don't feel good, please stay home. College Board will reschedule for you. Diversity Club will be having a meeting on November 10th at 2 p.m. Make sure you're there. Join the Psychology Club to learn about what makes you, you. The Google Classroom code is on the screen. The Ward Smiths will meet this Thursday, October 29th at 2.35. If you're interested in writing and making some new friends, then definitely check it out. They're always looking for new members. The code is on the screen. The class of 2024 is having an apparel sale until November 22nd. The link to buy will be on the CHS website. CHS, we want you as involved as possible with our morning show. So definitely check us out on Instagram at CHS underscore morning show. See you there. Instant Decision Day is coming up the week of December 14th. IDD is a virtual interview with a participating college representative from a school that you have already applied to. And the decision making process will give you a decision during the interview. No waiting weeks or months for a decision. Some of the participating colleges are Ramapo, Caldwell, Rutgers, Newark, William Patterson, FDU, NJIT, Keene, and NJCU. Seniors who are interested can sign up on Naviance no later than November 20th. Your guidance counselor will review all the different colleges you're interested in and then we'll follow up with more information. Seniors, make sure you're emailing those baby photos to beastlanina at cliftonschools.net by December 1st. We can't wait to see them in there. While you're at it, reserve your copy for the yearbook by ordering through yearbookforever.com. The cost of the yearbook is $85 if you want to pay cash. Please see the sign up on the 2021 Google Classroom page and email Miss Selenina if you have any questions. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to Justin Ramirez. Here are some sports meetings that are coming up. If you have any questions for swimming, please contact Miss Chinetti and contact Mr. Galetta if you have any questions for wrestling. Speaking of sports, here's our sports anchor, Nick Plaskon. How's it going, CHS? It's Mummy Nick here, and we're halfway through the week and one step closer to break. Let's check out what's happening in sports. Girls soccer has their next game tomorrow against Ridgewood at the high school at 4 o'clock. They also have a game on Saturday at PCTI at 11 a.m. Cross Country has the Varsity Invitational on Saturday at Garrett Mountain at 9 a.m. Boys Soccer has their next game on Saturday at PCTI at 1 o'clock. And Football has their next game Friday against Woodbridge at the stadium at 7 o'clock. That's all I have for sports today, CHS. Let's finish the rest of the week strong, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Nick! And now it's time for today's trivia answer. The answer is Courtney Cox. Did you get it right? Are we spotted? I don't think so. I'll get the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Deputy, yeah, that's okay. What brings you to these parts? Well, you just never know when or where a story will break. Not much of a story here, just a bunch of kids cutting it loose. Then what are you doing here? Just keeping an eye on things. I'm gonna take the party out. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. all right, let me just get my coat. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Catherine. And I'm Deborah. Hi, it's, it's almost, almost November, November break, break Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash.